Well, good morning. It's another Friday morning. I hope you are all well and I'm glad that you're joining us. Friday, yeah. the 25th of, of September. September. Yeah. Next week is a new month. Yes. V- virtually, I think, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I'm pretty sure. Right. Yes, We're is. in October next week. I know, don't even, don't even want to know that. You know, my birthday's not that far away, Chris. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> November. Can, November. Can, can we get a dog? No. You know we can't get a dog. What have you dog? got against dogs? <laughs> I love dogs. I just don't want to own one. Yeah, but there's a reason why I want to get a dog. Why? Well, you know that now now that we're allowed, dogs are allowed to be groomed, we take them to dog groomers. So they can go get their, their So if their I haircut. go with us, if I take this dog to get their hair cut, Maybe I can get a haircut too, because unfortunately <laughs> I can't at the moment. <laughs> so maybe what we, you know, if so, I've got a dog. So you can go to the dog groomer to get groomed yourself. Exactly. Somebody's <laughs> got to do this. <laughs> By Never the time mind. your birthday comes around, the hairdressers will be working again. So All we right. won't have a problem. Okay. okay. All right. Anyway, listen, yes. you and I, you know that uh, mm. we're still trying out uh, to... Uh, figure out what's the best diet for us. Don't okay, we? Now, yeah. like, what, which one are we on now? We're, we're doing keto. We're doing, doing keto. A keto? <laughs> <laughs> no, right. not a keto. We're Just doing a, keto. We've done keto uh, diet. We've done uh, what else is we, we've done? We've done a couple of others in the past. Oh, haven't I don't we? know. Who knows? We've done everything. No, but, you know. no eat diet. That really <laughs> lasted long. <laughs> it's crazy. But you know, really good. I really love it when you buy a new cookbook. Yeah, well, you know, I love cookbooks. You know, for, for all it's our... very hard for me to walk past and not buy it. And I, I noticed that. You know, it's for all our viewers. I mean, um, my lovely wife here loves cookbooks, <laughs> but that's as far as it goes with these cookbooks because she she, she loves to look at the pictures, <laughs> and she usually turns to me saying, uh, "Rocky, can you make this for us? You know, one day. You know, you know, you know. I mean, uh, and that's it. And she closes them and then puts them away." <laughs> but, yeah, lovely. But you know what? My intention is that maybe one day I would make it, but I never do. <laughs> How long have we been married for, Chris? How many cookbooks you got? <laughs> oh boy, I, 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 I'm not sure if you've picked up on what Pastor John and Pastor Lois are doing on Saturday morning. Yes, I've seen they, them. Uh, a Pastor John of times. and Lois, they're from the Encompass Church in Bandura, and they've got this cooking show on Saturday mornings for their church. But anybody can tune in. In fact, it's on. It's usually on Facebook and stuff. And they've got all these these really nice, cool, uh, quick, quick, uh, quick, uh, quick meals. Sm- quick meals. Yeah. Quick... Well, Lois is a very good cook. Yeah, yes. yeah. And John, he loves to eat too. He's mm-hmm, a, mm-hmm. he's good. He's good with that. He likes he likes the Italian food and, yeah. and all that type of well, stuff. Well, he's Italian. Well, he is too, like me. <laughs> like you. Born here. Yes. The same year. He was born in Sydney, though. Yeah, in a different country. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> At the moment. <laughs> Hi, John, if you're watching. <laughs> but um, yeah, so uh, that's that's great. Now we do do need to add one uh, major announcement mm-hmm. for all of our view- viewers. Now on Sunday mornings, the service is uh, transmitted. At 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. It's on uh, YouTube and also on Facebook. Facebook, yes. At 10 o'clock. Mm-hmm. We will be adding mm-hmm. a full English service. Oh, really? 9 o'clock. In the morning? In the morning. Oh, wow. 9 o'clock in the morning, there'll be a full English service and uh, the regular service at 10 o'clock stays as is. Oh, okay. So it's not a problem there. So I just want to let everybody know because for those who want to uh, maybe be, get up a bit earlier or maybe watch a little bit later, but hopefully get up a little bit earlier to watch a full English service, or, uh, on YouTube or Facebook, nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Nine oh, o'clock. great. Yeah. That's yeah. coming soon. That'll be starting in, a, in about a week's time. So Some, like something that. like that. But we'll, we'll give our people further information further notice. Okay. and notice about All that. Right. Okay, that's good. Now, you got something to share with us, have you, Chris? Well, I do have something to share with us. It's going on a little bit about uh, what, uh, what I shared last week about the woman who had that bleeding for 12 years. Um, so I'm just going on from that. You remember that she had faith uh, that she could be healed if she touched the robe of Jesus. Mm. And, sh- and she did. She was healed when she did that. Remember, Jesus said to her, your faith has healed you. However, while she did have faith, and that's not in doubt, she had no intention of meeting Jesus. She thought that she would just sneak into the crowd touch his robe and slip away. The three Gospels, all three, Matthew, Mark and Luke, state that she approached Jesus from behind, from behind and touched his robe. Incognito. Yeah, it's kind of like if it were possible to steal a healing and it's not. I want to make sure. 
clear that it's not. But it's nearly like she got her healing and she could just go away. She didn't say please. She didn't say thank she you. She didn't say please or no, thank you. No, no. She was just going to slip away, like, you know, kind of thing. In fact, in Luke chapter 8, verse 47, it says, Then the woman, seeing she could not go unnoticed, came trembling and fell at his feet. Because Jesus said, Who touched me, remember? So it says here, when she realised she couldn't go unnoticed, she was going to just slip away and go unnoticed. But she couldn't do that now because Jesus is like, who's touched me? So she had to have a face-to-face with Jesus. So she intended to slip away, slip in and slip away, unnoticed. No, please. No, thank you. No, other people normally go to Jesus and say, will you please heal me, have mercy on me, you know, something. But she never did. So it made me think, having said that, she did have faith and she was healed. But it made me think, how many times do we do the same? Do we go to Jesus? Do we, you know, pray our prayers? And, you know, we don't really, we're not really interested in a face to face. We just want to go have our, pray our prayer, have our prayers answered, our needs met, and then slip away. Uh, do we seek God, you know, only when we have a need, only when we want something? You know, it, it reminded me, you know, those friends, I think we've got some friends and you might have friends or relatives who only call you when they need something. You don't hear from them for months and months, maybe even years. Then they need you. <laughs> I'm thinking of some of, I'm thinking of some uh, some uh, relatives of yours. I've been mean, about that, 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 yeah, yeah. No, and they call you because they need help, and then you don't hear from them again. They're not interested in you or interested in having a relationship with you. No, they just call you. As opposed to friends and people that you do have a friendship or relationship with, if you've got to ask them for help or a favour, I mean, how easy is that to do? You know. And they're there. And they are there, or if they're asking you, you're there. So we have a case where you, sometimes people are not interested. They only they only seek after you when they need something. And I think, you know, do we do that too? I think we're guilty of doing that from time to time, even when we, when we pray to God. You know, but God desires to have a relationship with us, a face-to-face with us. Um, an ongoing mutual relationship is what God is after. You know, how much easier, as I said, how much easier is it to ask a friend to help? You know, Jesus, uh, God wants us to go to Him. He wants us to pray. He wants us, when we need help, He wants us to go to Him. But He doesn't want us to go to Him only then. He wants to hear from us all the time because He's interested in our life and being part of our life and we're part of His. So I just thought I wanted to... uh, to bring that because in the end, the woman who had no intention of meeting Jesus, in the end, she was forced to, but in the end, she went away with more than being healed. She went away with peace. She went away with His blessing. She went away free. That miracle that she received, that healing was for her. She deserved it to have it. She didn't have to think, you know, I I took something that wasn't mine. You know, Jesus made it very clear, my daughter, your faith has healed you, you know, go in peace. And that's what God wants to say to you, my daughter, my son, uh, your faith has healed you, go in peace. He wants to be part of our lives, not just when we need help. And face to face. Face yeah. to face. Mm. And you know, it's um, it's something that we uh, really should strongly think about because the, the miracle that happens should be a gateway yes. to relationship. Yeah. Yes. And uh, being connected to God. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, miracles, you know, by God's grace, healings, they happen. Yeah. And we should uh, keep praying for people, keep mm-hmm. believing yes. and all those things. They are, a, they are a gateway as well. Yes. Uh, in connection with God. Well, for relationship, and yet yeah. I think some people stop short. They want the miracle and not the relationship. Yeah, yeah. and uh, that's, an, um, that's, that's a good a, message. That, that, that's, a sad, that's a sad case when you think of how much more you have to gain yeah. with relationship. Exactly. Yeah. But on that note, Chris, yes. why don't we commit this to the Amen. Lord? Amen. Let's Amen. do that. Praise okay. God. Lord, you are, you are so gracious with um, granting us healings and delivering us from all sorts of situations. And Lord, we know that uh, you're so concerned about our welfare and our well-being that you sent your son, Jesus. Amen, yes. Lord, 
we, we can see that these miracles that happen in our lives and the, the healings and the, the great things that you do, Lord, they're not just things that we seek alone, but they are gateways to know you better and to have a relationship with you and to be connected to you. So I pray for all those that have been listening to this, this message, Lord, that they would be encouraged so as they seek something from you, it would be an open door to a greater experience Amen, yes, of Lord. salvation and, and being born again. Amen. Father, that you would bless your people and bless those that are seeking, Lord, seeking something from you, whether it's healing, whether it's provision, whether it's being set free, Lord, that you would grant their desires. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 And amen. Well, we'll see you soon. We'll see you Sunday morning. We certainly will. <laughs> Sunday morning, nine o'clock soon.